What's going on YouTube? EXO coming at you today with a little walkthrough video even though I'm missing my back amps. This is just going to be a video going through each and everything that I've done to the truck you know now that it's basically all finished. I'm going to start from the outside and kind of work my way up starting with the decals. These are obviously Tech Force Services decals from uh, Richard over there. I uh, had this thing parked in his uh, driveway for a little while did a lot of the work on it including some of this stuff. Actually this was over at Dom's house. Uh, Dom helped me put these little uh, uh, airlift 1000 bags in there. They've been in for over a year, fully inflated, never had a single problem with them deflating. We got the nozzle sticking out right up here in there so we can fill it up whenever we need to if we had to. Oh, it's getting a little rusty there. Might put a little bit of silicone on there. But yeah, just uh, whenever I would need it, just go ahead and fill it right back up right there. Still have my trailer package in case I need to tow anything. Uh, backup camera right there. Just something really simple from eBay. It's nothing special at all. Literally like $15. Um, yeah, and then we got the roof all done up with uh, birch wood going up. I'll go ahead and get up on top of there right now just to show you. Ah, shit. It's just really strong. It's not going anywhere. That's a base head roof right there. So extra strong roof. Yeah, bam. And then we got the American Racing rims that was on it right when I got it. Uh, just some 17s with the BF Goodrich rubber too. The all terrains. Really nice, sexy tire. It's what was on it in the original place, but I had to go and get some more when I was in Tennessee. Walled off right here all the way to the back. All this is nice and carpeted. These are all 2x4s with some kitty hair in between them. Now let's go ahead and uh, get inside the truck. We'll get into the console like a little bit because I already have a whole video on that. But again, here's the Crescendo FT1s. The tweeters, the super tweeters from Crescendo Audio. Uh, really great custom pillars that I made over at... Uh, in Tennessee as well. Pretty much keeps everything right in here and this will be bouncing off the windshield as well but when you open the window up that's when this comes in handy for everyone outside the vehicle. Say if I was at a show or just doing like what I did the other day with a distance test it, it comes in handy then just so you can have a little bit of the highs echoing out that way you know for the crowd too. You gotta think of everybody when you're de demoing your system. So there's the, the roof I was telling you about. Uh, extra thick right there. Uh, the wall Tuned to 29, uh, excuse me, tuned to 28 hertz right now with the six uh, Soundstream Triple X 18s with the PSI soft parts, all reconed by me uh, about a year ago. Have a video on that too. Uh, look at that. So we got the triple leads looking real beautiful. Triple slugs. I love these subs. Always been a real big fan of them. Uh, but now since they got new soft parts in them, hopefully they have a little bit more, uh, a little bit more musical capabilities for us. Pioneer head unit. Uh, this is the ADH series. I have a whole thing. It's the P3200 DVD. I have a whole video on that too. Uh, I don't necessarily use the, that, the DVD option all the time, but uh, you know, it's cool to have it. All the switches for my amps, all the switches for my lights, fans, backup camera, door poppers, stuff like that. Momentary switches for the door poppers. 12 volts. I'm, going, I'm trying to go through this really fast because I've already done it. This was a place for my wireless keyboard and this was a place for my tablet. And I know this is not a very good center console. This was just like, blah, I'm going to throw it together just so I can get it done and playing. So I'm going to redo this all. So don't hate me too much. And Because the last video was like, man, this thing looks like he never did a project in his life. It's like, come on, chill out a little bit. Like I said, the wall is tuned to 28 hertz right now, but I'm going to be able to change the port whenever I want to. Four Crescendo PWX's. Four Crescendo PWX6's. These are the 10's. These things, oof. Have a video on those too. Very, very impressed with those. So now let's go into the back, which is just basically missing everything. Yeah. The batteries are looking good though. These are the eight Crescendo F31 HP's with the half inch copper bus bars by 1.5 across. Looking real good. Everything would look a hell of a lot better if there were some amps in here. Hey, look, I had to use that yesterday. Um, yeah, everything would look a lot better. I have pictures of it when it did have the, uh, the TX1s in there, but just imagine some sexy bass clef amps in there from Crescendo. That would look really good too because of the color scheme of these things matching up with that. Oh, that would be great. So, I'm um, still waiting for this. I'm still saving money, guys. Car audio is expensive. Here's the lights that I was using. I'm going to be putting them back up. Uh, these are just controlled by this little RGB, little uh, wireless RGB controller right, right there. Has a remote and everything. I guess I could show you really quickly. These ones go on too. 
to have them down there, but I was just playing with it. I haven't really done anything official with the the interior lighting because I have so much more of it inside. But then we can turn this on. See, that 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 does good too. Um, you can change the colors and everything. Let's just do this real quick. People were asking about this. I don't necessarily like these two amps. I mean, this is they're great amps, but for what I need, I'm pretty much just, I wanna get like maybe two, four channels that match because this is just making my head hurt every time I look at it. We got the Granger uh, Idler. I'm trying to go through everything, guys. Oh yeah, Audio Technics speaker wire too. I gotta clean that up a little bit. And then we got the five Iraqi alternator set up here. The stock one, that's the stock location. And then we got the four little auxiliary alts looking beautiful. And then we got one little rusty little guy. It's been a year since it's been really messed with. Um, it's been a year since these been, have been installed pretty much too. So um, these are all ceramic fuses. And I'm getting a lot of questions about this here battery, why it's so small. Well, that's because I can uh, only fit a certain size battery in there. So I picked a Group 51, has 500 cold cranking amps. It's actually a pretty damn good battery. Uh, for what it is has a good warranty on it. So I go ahead and picked up a nice commercial grade. So there we go guys The lights are still on. Let me go ahead and turn that off Bam 618s build console pillars door pods amp rack battery rack alternator setup and uh, Decals and little suspension bags. So this is uh, EXO signing out Hope this explained a little bit more what's going on in my system. I know that I don't have amps right now, but please just bear with me. I'm, I'm doing my best. So, so this is EXO signing out. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>